Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about solutions to inequalities. And the problems may look like this. You have an inequality and then you have several choices. So the first thing let's do is go ahead and solve the inequality. So I'm going to go 4m minus 2 is less than or equal to 30. I'll add 2 to both sides. Okay. These cancel. I'll bring down the 4m less than or equal to 32. Okay, now what I do is I uh, divide by 4 to get the m isolated. So m is less than or equal to 8. Okay, so now that is our solution. Now what we need to do, we have a couple of choices. Which of these satisfy this less than or equal to 8. Well, 8 does, and 6 does. So our solution would be 8 and 6 because they're both less than or equal to 8. Let's work another example. Okay, again, let's solve the inequality. So I'm going to rewrite r over 2 plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 1. I'm going to first subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, these cancel. Bring down r over 2 is greater than or equal to. Whenever you have two negatives, you add them and then um, keep the sign of negative. So that will be 5. Now what we do is we have division, so we're going to multiply by 2. Okay, these cancel. r is equal to greater than or equal to a negative times a positive is a negative, so that will be negative 10. Now, let's see what numbers satisfy this. So it's got to be greater than or equal to negative 10. So we have negative 10 and negative 11. Both of those satisfy this inequality. And let's work one final example. Okay, let's begin. Uh, I probably should have had this written ahead of time, but I didn't. Okay, we have 4 minus 4n is less than or equal to 16. Let's begin by getting um, rid of the 4 by subtracting 4 to both sides. Okay, these cancel. You have negative 4n is less than or equal to 16 minus 4. Whenever you have a positive and negative, you keep the sign of the larger and subtract. So that will be a positive 12. Now we need to divide by a negative 4. Okay, these cancel. That becomes n. And we have 12 divided by a negative 4. And whenever you um, divide by a positive and negative, it becomes negative, And it will be less than or equal to negative 3 because 4 times 3 is 12. So now, let's see what satisfies this inequality. Well, 3 does because it's equal to, and what's less than 3, 2. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why this works. Let's put in a negative 5. So we have 4 minus 4 times a negative 5 is negative 20. Is negative 20. And so now what we do is 4 minus 20 is going to be is less than or equal to 16. Remember when you have minus a negative, it's like 4 plus 20 is less than or equal to 16. So that becomes 24. And 24 is not less than or equal to 16. It is greater than. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.